Hello and Namaste Paycheck Pros. I'm Manish Aujan. This is Paycheck to Profit, India's first YouTube channel dedicated to your financial freedom. On this channel, I make videos more frequently now. Earlier, I used to make them at 4, 14 and 24 of every month. I'm still somehow missing it. But the good point for you is now I'm making videos. I intend to make 10 videos every month. So if the date of your calendar is divisible by 3, you will see a video by me. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a very serious and an important topic. A topic that I'm sure you've thought of multiple times in your life. Why is it that none of the schools, universities, colleges talk to you about financial freedom, how to invest your money, how to grow your money? Why is it that all these universities are giving me so much business? I'm not affiliated to any of them. Why do they not teach you something so basic and absolutely essential? Have you thought about this? If you've thought about this, Tell me what exactly have the thoughts been and what have you, what kind of thoughts have you dealt with in the comments below? Let this entire community get to know what exactly goes on in people's minds. Maybe some universities, colleges will see this and realize the importance of this topic and maybe create courses which are important and which will help you get more information. However, let me tell you what I feel are the most important reasons why universities or colleges don't create courses which talk to you about how to invest your money and achieve financial freedom. The first thing and the most important reason, the most commonsensical basic reason is that colleges and universities operate in the domain. You don't have a financial freedom college, but you definitely have hospitality manage, uh, management colleges, you have medical colleges, you have you have colleges which will teach you engineering and any other domain oriented courses, but you don't have any university which teaches you about financial freedom because it's not in anybody's interest. It's not an in industry's interest. It's not in uh, university's interest to see that it, to see that students get financial freedom. They expect you to get your degree, get a job and they feel that's where their job ends. And they want you to take care of your financial freedom. And I'll tell you a simple reason why this is true, because you don't, you don't have any jobs which teach you or which pay you to get financially free. Yes, there are analysts who get paid to invest money on their investors behalf, but they go through a completely different training. I'm an MBA in finance myself, and I wasn't taught anything that I'm supposed to know about financial freedom in my college. Obviously, I was taught how to read balance sheets and that's extremely important. I, obviously, I was taught accounting principles. I was taught how money works, but I wasn't taught anything to do with financial freedom. I had to understand all the knowledge that I have gained in the university and then apply it in personal investments, which was absolutely not taught to me. And as much as I know, is not taught to any MBA in finance per se. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments and tell me what college and what university have you gone to and then an MBA in finance, which teaches you about how to manage your own investments. So do you understand? None of the colleges teach you this. If you are from India, the government has recently introduced a national education policy 2020, which will open doors for universities to teach you about these subjects. But I'm not very hopeful or I'm not very, uh, I'm not very optimistic about universities teaching you about financial freedom as a subject. And I'll tell you one of the biggest reasons why. Financial freedom is a very personal journey. How you look at money, how you look at your financial freedom, how you consider yourself to be financially free, how you manage your investments is very personal to you. There are so many couples who come to me and I realize that even within couples, the way they approach money, the way they approach investments is very different from each other, which causes a lot of rift, which causes a lot of confusion. And there are so many unknown money blogs that exist in people's minds, which we need to talk about, which we need to clarify. A university cannot talk to you about these things because things change. Even my financial freedom plans have changed so much within the last two years itself. So what you need to do is you need to understand how does money work? How does the investment as a concept work? How can you invest your money and make it grow for you? How can you make your investments work for you in your behalf? That's what you need to understand. That's what you need to learn. Financial freedom is a journey. You create your journey. You create a plan. You know what your destination looks like and then you start working towards your destination. 
on the way you adapt on the way you realize that some destinations or some milestones that you had thought about they need to be changed some other circumstances come up which make you go through the entire process all over again in a completely different manner so what you need to understand is you need to equip yourself you need to empower yourself with knowledge with systems with information with people people play a very big part what kind of people are you roaming around with how many financially free people do you know or how many people do you know who are actually working towards their financial freedom what does their financial investment plans look like how are they investing the money how are they growing their money what kind of conversations about money are they having with themselves more importantly as compared to the conversations about money that they have with others let me tell you something based on my experience conversations about money is a big taboo in itself and that's a very big problem people don't talk about money people don't discuss money and i don't know any reason why do they do that what i'm trying to tell you is take the responsibility in your hands even if tomorrow university start teaching about financial freedom what are you going to do you need to be financially free yourself right learn how to deal with your money learn how to get into investments clean your money mindset because believe me after coaching so many people i have realized it's the mindset that needs to be tackled first if you've liked this video please make sure to show some sort of support by like uh, pressing the like button or subscribing to the channel sharing this video please share this video with people so that maximum people understand what can be done what can you do though what can you do today to make sure that you are getting one step closer to your financial freedom for the community of paycheck to profit i have created a special facebook group in the last 4 days itself i have seen a jump of over 550 subscribers and members to that group i'll make sure to add the link to that group in the description below please do yourself a favor and join the community subscribe to this channel join that group start interacting with people on that group i'll keep asking you questions every day on that group which will make you think about money start answering those questions the first step towards your financial freedom is your acceptance and your intention towards being financially free that's the only thought that i'll leave you with today i hope this video has added some value and it's made you think in the direction that i have wanted you to if you've liked this video please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel i'll now see you in the next video until then please keep smiling take care of your loved ones and stay happy kaching